Welcome back to the Afia Morning Show, reaching you live from Enugu State. Uh, Ojiwachiku is still here. I am Nathalie Uku, and we're about to discuss the Enugu International Trade Fair that is set to begin tomorrow, being Friday, and of course, how it's going to impact commerce in Enugu State. Oji, how do you feel about the idea of this trade fair? It's gone back so many years. How yeah. do you feel about it? Well, great. I, I remember growing up, trade fairs are always like carnival, right? So, but since they moved to the permanent sites little or more i don't know like the the, the crowd that the attendees and all that i think it is it, it kind of reduced right like i remember when we were very little he was like i want to go to drive fair, i want to go to drive fair because yeah, you see a lot of people a lot of colorful stuffs happening there and all that but i'm excited that um, that is 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 here tomorrow and let, just being hopeful that people will imbibe that culture of going to buy our Nigerian made goods right there in the trade fair because it's a fair trade, by the way. So you probably get so many things. Wow. <laughs> trade fair, fair trade. Yeah. Really interesting so, one there. Yeah, and I, we, there. we just want to learn more about it. I'm happy that you raised that angle because, yeah. you know, it's something that I hope we're going to be able to address on the show and what a trade fair intends to do about the increasing turnout and, of course, attendees at this annual event. Now, you, it might interest you to know that this is the 35th edition of this fair trade or trade fair, mm. like Oji called it. Joining us now on the program is Mr. Uche Chukumba, the Director General. General, Enugu Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture. Good morning, Mr. Umba. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. <laughs> yes, sister. <laughs> Thank you for having me. And uh, congratulations for you are acting director general before and now you are the DG. Congratulations, Mr. DG. <laughs> Thank you. We we'll give God the glory. Yes. We are expecting our champagne and fish and white red wine. <laughs> All right, let's let's begin with what Oji talked about. He talked about that the dwindling of the crowd when the trade fair moved from its other sites to its permanent site. Have you noticed any decrease statistically? And what does Asima plan to do about this, if you've noticed that as a statistic? Yeah, we have noticed that. Um, uh, however, we, we, we strongly believe that it's not about the venue. It's about... Um, uh, strategies um, possibly we we didn't consider or Esima over the years uh, especially when we moved to that side didn't consider you know retweeting our strategies to uh, suit the current trend so that we'll be able to drive traffic to that place but um, uh, the leadership we have in, in the chamber now is really doing the needful and um, one of the things we are doing at this moment is we have seen that the economy is not very friendly and we have looked at what do we do to allow every dick and harry to enter allow every small person to be part of the trade fair two things we have done strategically one we have decided to throw our gate open for all visitors what has never happened in the past. Uh, what it means is that from the day one of the trade fair, if you want to visit any company, you want to visit the trade fair to know what is going on in the trade fair, you are free to enter. The gate will just be open. And attached to that open gate is that we are doing daily raffle draw. You know, the entry ticket that you will collect at the gate will give you access to participating in the raffle draw, just as a visitor into the fair. Then for uh, the SMEs in Enugu, we, we took time to understudy things, we took time to do survey, and our survey showed that most SMEs in Enugu are feeling that it is expensive to participate in the Enugu International Trade Fair. We went to Enugu State Government and requested for the government to sponsor a fully air conditioned tent, a large capacity air conditioned tent of about 1,000 square meters, so that we can bring in all SMEs, no matter your level, in Enugu, that may not on their own pay for stand to participate in the fair. And uh, let me tell you, the government, uh, the current government of Enugu State, being 
uh, a man, current governor being a man who is a private Mr. Ojichuku, are you still with us? All right, I think we're still going to connect with him. Oji, now he talked about some of these initiatives, you know, the raffle draw, the gate, throwing the gates open to all people. It's the first of its kind, though, because I, I know trade fair, you have to pay um, a little token to, you know, get access to to, um, to enter and, you know, go do your shopping and stuff and look around there. Because so many side attractions way back, I can remember when we were a little. And I, even the first time I ate, um, apart from the pasta, uh, I ate noodles was from trade fair i didn't like it by the way but i could remember i have that memory that the first noodles i ever ate we bought it from from trade fair right so um it, it, it was great it's, it's a great deal if that's going to make it boom right because um i was going to ask him was accessibility part of the problems that made you know, um, the, the crowds to dwindle and people not, you know, going there. It was accessibility part of the issue that made, because I know is the other trade fair was just along the the road ar ar around um, the, the mall right now. The, the yes. Enugu, uh, sorry, the Paul Park Mall right now, right? So just accessibility is, is, um, is accessibility was one of the problems. All right, all right. Mr. Mba, I'm happy that you're back with us. Um, Oji was raising a very important concern about accessibility. Now, he earlier talked about the dwindling crowd when uh, the trade fair was moved to its permanent site. Was accessibility one of the problems, judging by the fact that now Esima has decided to throw the gates open and not collect the fee as maybe people didn't regard as fair trade before? Uh, like, like, like I said before, um, for us, we don't think it is, though uh, it could have a little percentage uh, implication. But at the current time we are, uh, we are, we are pre uh, preparing for the 35th edition, the area where we have the trade fair complex is fully bu uh, built up. Uh, the, the kind of traffic you have on that road is almost the same thing as you are having or you used to have uh, around the old trade fair complex so one of the things like i was saying earlier is that one of the things we have done also is to uh, ask the government to provide free space for smes the government of enugu state has approved and as i'm talking to you a very mighty market tent is being installed for all SMPs in Enugu who ordinarily wouldn't have afforded to be part of the fair. So their presence in the fair will attract visitors who want their products. Uh, uh, for participants, yes, uh, they, some of them felt that the area is off, but for us, if we're able to bring reasonable participants, reasonable companies into the fair, any good people will all move to that place to visit them. You know, uh, an aunt will always go to where you have sugar. So we're trying to bring sugar into the trade fair complex so that any good people will come to take that sugar in the trade fair complex. We're trying to uh, we're trying to make that place look very good thank god for in which the government as i'm talking to you they are completing the asphalting of the internal road so the the, gov the governor is giving also that complex a facelift such that when you come in you want to come again okay l let me come in there very quickly now uh, beyond aesthetics and obvious uh, i would say convenience in terms of driving there what do people stand to benefit from the trade fair when we're talking about fair trade what are the uh, price slashes, if any, people are going to experience? And what does the average Enugu citizen stand to gain just by walking into that trade fair complex and being a part of this year's trade fair? Yeah, uh, we were at a work there some days ago, and we told them that a number of uh, manufacturing companies are coming from Lagos, and they have assured that they are going to sell both to consumers and distributors at factory price at factory price in fact we have a number of videos already circulating produced by these companies to telling enugu people that they are coming 
and individuals they are sure they look with people that they are not just coming to sell at market price or prices but they are coming to sell at the at, at factory price that is almost at production cost so people who visit the fair will go home buying things as cheap as they cannot get it elsewhere then there is also opportunity of networking opportunity of networking at the fair you'll be able to get a company you can distribute their goods you can distribute their products and from there you will make living also for the smes in enugu we have a number of foreign uh, uh, embassies that have assured us that they will be part of the trust in fact some of them have already paid to have stand so if there is an uh, entrepreneur in enugu is an opportunity for the person to sell his services and also sell his products to foreign organizations or foreign companies. So there are a lot to benefit from the trade fair, both for visitors and for exhibitors, our local exhibitors. So we encourage everybody to be part of it. Okay. Okay. okay um, let's talk more about the side attractions, right? Apart from the yeah. waffle draw, what else are people anticipating, you know, to see and engage when they come for this year's um, fair trade? One, one, one of the, okay, let me, let me talk about the two, two things, two most important things that were, were putting in place. One is raffle draw. I said it earlier yeah. uh, that at the gate, once you get to the gate, you pick an entry ticket, free entry ticket. That entry ticket will give you uh, access to the raffle draw, daily raffle draw that we'll be having at the fair, which means on daily basis, people will be winning gifts, free gifts. What kind then, of gifts? Sorry, apology? What kind of gifts, please? I'm there are a number of knowing what kind of gifts. There are companies, people will win phones, people will win phone accessories, people will win uh, free one night accommodation at five star hotel in Enugu. We have two five-star hotels in Enugu that are supporting the raffle draw. So they have offered free night accommodation to those that will win such thing, which means you, if you, if you happen to win it, you'll be opportune to go into the hotel, enjoy yourself, maybe with your spouse or whoever, for a night. We have fine brothers and other companies also, Dangote, that have, you know, subscribed to uh, the daily raffle draw. So it is one thing that we're provided which people will benefit from. Okay. Now, on a final note, you know, we're still looking at the impact of this trade fair on commerce in Enugu state and on businesses as well. What is the long-term impact that you expect this to have on business in Enugu state? And speaking on how it's going to support other people who may go there and want seeking inspiration, for instance, what impact do they have on the average Enugu citizen and the businesses as a whole in the state? Okay, before I answer that, uh, let me also talk about... Uh, uh, entertainment stage that were provided uh, were provided that stage to have upcoming artists showcase who they are if i were, were, were working on dafia tv on that uh, to have a number of upcoming artists on daily basis using the stage that the chamber has uh, will provide at the trade fair to show their ingenuity and what they are made of from there, we believe they can they can be bought. What they have can can be sought for. People can pay for it. Then for um, how the trade fair will affect the economy over time. I I know that already the Tanzanian embassy uh, have called to request for a day to meet with the Enugu business community. They have outlined areas that they want investors in. And I'm sure there are, we have a number of SMEs in Enugu who ordinarily may not have opportunity of meeting uh, such uh, embassy or such a, a bilateral organization. This is an opportunity. So people, people can sell their services beyond here. 
just through the trade fair. And you see that over time, such, uh, such a company that is opportune to network through the trade fair could grow so big, could grow so big. So uh, also, um, I could remember one company that visited, that participated in one of our fairs about five or six years ago. That company, till today, they, they don't stop thanking the Enugu Chamber of Commerce for creating the platform because we, we get them opportunity of meeting business people in Enugu who are today distributing their products. Okay, so uh, very quickly, we have just seconds on our clock. Uh, how can, what should people know about participating in this year's trade fair? Where would it be happening? The time that they should attend and any details you think that they should know so that we can achieve maximum capacity at that permanent site? Yeah, the trade fair is starting tomorrow, the 5th of April. Uh, by 12 noon, the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria will be represented by the Honorable Minister of Trade and Investment, uh, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Enugu State, who is the man that uh, has given us the kind of support we have never received before, uh, will also be there to declare this fair open. So from tomorrow till the 15th day of next month, the fair will be open. All right. Within the day of uh, April, the fair will be open. Then on daily basis, we'll be having programs. We'll be having special days where companies, organizations who use the platform of the chamber to tell the world what they are doing, to tell any people right. what they are doing. Very, very, very quickly, because I would like to know the exact location for people watching and trying to find out how to get there. Can you just tell us the location? Because we're already out of time. Enugu International Trade Fair Complex, Gulf Estate, GRU Enugu. You can access it through Enugu on HR Expressway. You can access it through New Market Road by Enugu on HR Expressway. You can access it through, uh, through Gulf Coast. We have a number of access routes to Enugu International Trade Fair. And one thing good is that the governor has taken time to reconstruct the entire access road. All right. To make movement easy for people. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Uche Chukumba, Director General, Enugu Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture for being here. And we definitely wish you the best and wish all Enugu residents also attend and ensure that they benefit from this annual event. Thank you once again for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you are doing a good job.